Hello and welcome. So today, beginning of the flu season, there is a question that with getting flu shots and getting COVID vaccine, can we combine the flu shot and the COVID vaccine at the same time? Or we should space them apart for any difference in the results? And the other question is that if I had COVID-19 before, can I take the COVID vaccine? And maybe you will wonder if you are suffering from long hauler symptoms, can you still get the COVID vaccine? So let's get into all of this and give you the latest and greatest recommendations and let's get deep into it. All right, the first question, do we even need a booster shot for COVID-19? So the studies showed that the immunity can get lower with time and we don't know yet how fast and how long the immunity will last but we know that it can decrease over time and with multiple new COVID-19 variants that are trying to escape immunity we will need any immune response and strengthen our immunity as much as possible so getting a COVID vaccine booster will definitely help and is highly recommended to get the booster vaccine so that you can strengthen the immune system and fight those variants. And then the other question is that can we combine COVID vaccine with the flu shot? Well, the CDC said about this specific issue that COVID-19 vaccines and other vaccines may be administered on the same day as well as any interval without respect to timing. So yes, you can combine COVID-19 vaccine with other uh, vaccines like the flu vaccine and the recommendation is that you get them in different arms so that both arms can be sore after that so you can get one on the left and one shot on the right and even you can get them in the same arm with like a few inches apart but that arm will really suffer a lot <laughs> after getting the shot so can you please let me know down in the comment if you got the COVID vaccine or if you are planning on getting the flu shot as well. However, we might consider splitting those vaccines for multiple added benefits. And the first thing is that you want, we want to consider that if you get two vaccines at the same time and you develop side effects or allergic reactions, you want to be taking at least one vaccine so that you will know which vaccine is the culprit for those reactions. And the second thing is that there is no evidence that splitting the vaccines will increase the immune response or it will uh, decrease the side effects after the vaccines how we were being given lots of combined vaccinations especially in children without any issues but we want to make sure that with highly immunogenic uh, vaccines such as the COVID vaccine to give it enough time for the immune system to process it. And then the time that if you want to split them apart will be two weeks after getting the COVID vaccine and make sure to get the COVID vaccine first and then the flu shot because COVID is more serious than flu. The third thing you want to consider is that every vaccine you get is a trip to the doctor's office or a trip to the pharmacy. So you want to put into consideration the compliances that are you able to make those trips and getting all those vaccines scenes together or you should split them apart and this is also addressed by the CDC and it said that COVID-19 vaccines and other vaccines providers should consider whether the patient is behind or at risk of becoming behind on recommended vaccines the risk of vaccines preventable diseases example during the an outbreak and the uh, reactogenicity profile of the vaccines. So those are all considerations you want to put into, uh, into my, in your mind when you're deciding for taking the vaccine. If you got COVID-19 already, do you really need COVID vaccine? Well, the same thing. The immunity decreases over time, so getting a COVID booster shot or COVID vaccine will help boost your immunity by at least 10, 10 to 40 times and that will provide better immunity so that you will not get those changing variants like the Delta variant or Mu variant in the future and getting COVID again. And then the last question is that can you get COVID-19 vaccine if you had long hauler symptoms of long or long COVID? Well, there is not lots of evidence and studies to answer this question. However, from experience and from very small amount of studies out there, most of the patients experience no change in their COVID-19 and long hauler symptoms after getting the vaccine. And there is about a third of people will 
experience some improvement in their symptoms and there is about 10 to 15 percent they might experience transient worsening so we are studying this deeply and to understand can the vaccine will be helpful in those patient situations to learn more about long hauler symptoms and long covid you can watch those videos that break up all the important information for multiple long hauler symptoms and see you in the next one